we're going to get problem number two into vertex form. So get it into vertex form. I need to do this completing the square business. It's already equal to zero. So I'm just going to move my plus 12 over because I know in order to complete the square, I'm going to have to add a number here. And to offset that, I'm going to subtract the exact same number right here. The number that I add right here is going to create a perfect square triangle for these three numbers that factors into something squared. And we know that x squared will be x times x. And in order to get the middle term of negative 8, you're going to need half of this. So half of negative 8 is negative 4 because the negative 4x and the negative 4x is what's going to create the negative 8x. This 4 on the end, when I square it, is 16. So that's what goes here. And now if you factor this, this is what you would get. I can't just randomly add this 16 unless I offset it by subtracting 16. So these three are here. This positive 12 and negative 16 are like terms. They add up to negative 4, and it's equal to 0. This is my answer for vertex form because it's in this form. A times x minus h squared plus k. So now you can look at this and see that your value of a is the understood one that's in front of the parentheses. Your h is positive 4. And again, because this minus sign is in the formula, the h value is the opposite of this sign. So if this says minus 4, your h value is positive 4. Your plus k on the end, you have a minus 4 on the end, so therefore your k is negative 4. The k value does not get a sign change because of the plus sign in the formula. So here are your values for a, h, and k that you'll use to answer these questions. Your vertex always happens at the ordered pair h, comma, k. So this one has a vertex at 4, negative 4. Your axis of symmetry happens at x equals h. So your axis of symmetry is at x equals positive 4. Again, make sure you include the x equal in this answer. It's wrong if you just put the axis of symmetry is 4. Your domain. Good luck, baseball team. Your domain is all real numbers in Algebra 1 because we only deal with parabolas that open upward or downward. So 49 domain are real numbers. You can write it out if you prefer. Your range, again, you have to decide whether your parabola is opening upward or downward, and that's based on your A value. If A is positive, your parabola opens upward, like this, and that means that your Y values are going up. So you're going to use the greater than symbol for your range. Y is greater than or equal to whatever your value of K is, so in this case, negative 4. And again, you must include the y with the inequality symbol. You can't just write negative 4 on the range. All right, finally, we need to solve this. In order to solve it, I'm rewriting my vertex form of the parabola. So I had x minus 4 quantity squared minus 4 equals 0. And now to solve this one, you want to get the part that's squared isolated. So you're going to move this minus 4 that's not included in the squared portion to the other side. So on this side, I have this. The minus 4, when it moves over, turns positive. Now the squared part is all by itself. There's nothing out here and there's nothing after it. So to get rid of this squared symbol, I'm going to take the square root have to do it to both sides. If I do it to this side, I have to do it to this side. A squared symbol and a square root symbol just cancel one another out. So this side is just x minus 4. On this side, when I take the square root of 4, you know that 
positive 2 times 2 makes 4, but so does negative 2 times negative 2. So you have two possibilities, positive and negative 2. This is two different numbers, so from here you're going to split into two equations. You could have x minus 4 equals positive 2, and your other case is x minus 4 equals negative 2. Notice the only change between these two is one of them has a positive 2 and the other has a negative 2. The x minus 4 stays the same on both, both equations. Now just get this x by itself. If you were going to move a minus 4, you would have to do a plus 4. Move a minus 4, do a plus 4. Over here, x is equal to 6. Over here, x is equal to negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. These are my two solutions for x.